Yo everyone, what's up? It's Sen here, and Kilua finally released, and he's he's insane. He's like, oh, he. We waited a long time, especially for TS Zoro, but he's great. So anyway, so I'm gonna do a showcase video of all of his moves. Then I'm um, throwing a bit of compost, which I found. Anyway, so let's right get right to the moves then. So. Kilua actually has a really good move for only be a, for only being a, um, a second row character. Starting off with Rhythm Echo. So Rhythm Echo just spawns a bunch of Illusion clones on him, which actually do like one single punch. Actually, no, they do no damage, but they are Illusion, so it allows you to um, get up to your opponent and do damage. It's really just a mobility and also support move. It's not that great at all, but. Skateboard, on the other hand, this this is the I don't care what anyone says. This is the runner's paradise kit of a move. It's like Todoroki's, Todoroki's ice path, except you don't have to worry about a freeze meter, and it lasts for a really, really long time. His third move is lightning palm, which is an actual offensive move. It is his guard break, and it does 30 damage if it's not a guard break. And his fourth move is snake awakens. Now, snake awakens at base does um. It's basically kind of like a smaller slash, and I personally think it's better because it can be used as a combo extender. Anyways, let's get right into the awakening. So Killa was awakening godly. At first, he has a passive where he has a longer dash. Well, it looks like a longer dash, and he's really fast. He's like, I think he's the speed of like a base charged up Lita. Anyways, so. His first move in Awakenings also Lightning Palm. Again, it's his Guard Break, and this time it does 45 damage. His second move is a Thunderbolt. It's basically like Jet Pistol, but better. You, it's a recovery move. You can get above your opponent, punish them. And then there's Whirlwind. Now, Whirlwind, um, yeah, it's really good. It's also seen to be used as a counter move, so if like someone hits you, you can use Whirlwind to counter it. Then, of course, a good character is complete without an insta-kill. So, if you're below 50 HP, then there's Execute, which, he, he, I mean, he literally just takes out their heart. There's really nothing more to it. Anyways, so, now let's move on to combo. That they transcended even the broadest limits of his now, I've only been playing Killua for about, like, 30 minutes, so I haven't been able to find much combos. But I do know one that's pretty alright, so. It's 4 mouse ones to Snake Awakens, then into an up tilt. Down tilt, then lightning palm. And now, this is a semi true combo, and it's nearly an insta kill, actually, mainly just due to the fact of lightning palm doing so much damage. But even if it's not, um, even if it doesn't hit, it still is basically a confirmed guard breaker, unless your opponent has any type of iframes move. Another true combo is down slam, and then it's a snake awakens, which is completely true, except you can't finish it, you can't go back into M1s. Another more simple one is um, just an up tilt and to a uh, lightning palm, you don't have to do the snake awakens. And that is also completely true in terms that like your opponent can't or cannot block it at all. Anyway, so um, TS Zoro guide coming really soon, but I'm just having tons of fun with Killua, so I just wanted to put this out really quickly. Alright, again, thanks for watching. Let's 